remember when Tony Hawk games were fresh and exciting? See, way back in 1999, this series was grinding the cutting edge of technology and innovation. But after seven installments, it can barely ollie. Welcome to Tony Hawk's Project 8 for the PS3. This is gonna be rad. According to the storyline, Tony is looking to assemble a group of the world's best skaters, also known as Project 8. If only Tony were as discerning with the game's development as he was with his potential writer selection. Ah! As you can tell, the PlayStation 3 version suffers from some frame rate hiccups and questionable physics. Very questionable physics. We're sure some of the glitchy graphics can be fixed with an online patch, but unfortunately, there's no patch that lets you go back in time and buy an Xbox 360 instead. Hell no! The level elements also feel like repeats from earlier installments, like backyard pools, abandoned factories, or even the Capitol building. Oh, that's a respectful salute to America's war heroes. Just go ahead and grind on their memorial. There is some good news for fans of the franchise. There are no load times between sections of the city. And thanks to the intuitive control scheme, landing backflip frontside 360s is as easy as it sounds. Well, actually, it's easier. That rules! But what really saves Project 8 from being a terrible game is the brand new Nail the Trick feature. You see, during jumps, you can slow down time and use the dual analog sticks to individually control each leg of your border. It's very fun, and it adds a refreshing twist to every big combo. That was awesome. When we first saw footage of Project 8, we were excited by the prospect of a freshly revamped Tony Hawk game. You know, one that really goes back to its roots. Unfortunately, that's not how things turned out. Someone did something bad. You can expect to frequently participate in unfunny activities that were clearly shoehorned into the game by a clueless marketing department. Huh, can you believe this crap? Like human bowling. Piano jumping. And something called ball shagging. My balls are flying everywhere. How about you shag them for me? Mmm, no. Four! At this point, we'd be thrilled if they just stripped everything back to the basics and ditched the lame comic relief. Do you have a problem with that? Seems like every Christmas, Tony Hawk comes around to disappoint us. He's kind of like Santa Claus. If Santa Claus made a series of crappy skateboarding games. Tony Hawk's Project 8 gets a 3 out of 5. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.